In this video, I want to talk about the volume of a prism. So let's see what is a prism. A prism is any shape, any solid, which has the same cross section. Okay, so let me write the definition. It's a prism. This is a very simple definition. Prism is a solid, any solid, with uh, having having equal uh, having cross section of equal area. Cross section. I'll explain this. Cross section of equal area. Okay, so you may have learned. Uh, a cube and a cuboid. Now this is this is generally called a cube. The length, width, and height is same, but it it's also a square-based prism. So if you take suppose this is a base, okay, and if you do if you cut along the top, and if you you can cut this along the top, and if you find the area of each cross section, it will be the area would be e equal. So this is a rectangular prism where the base is rectangular so let me call the this as the base if this is the base okay and this is the height okay so let me draw it properly so if you call this the base and this is the height or the depth okay and here this is the base and if you cut it from the top or even from if you cut this way if you keep cutting from the top I hope you can see you will have the area of the each cross section will be equal. And this is the height. Now here the cross section, this is a triangular base prism. The base is triangular. Okay, and if you do the cut like this, if you cut like this, okay, if you keep cutting, the area of each cross section would be the area of this triangle. Okay, so there is a neat formula for area of a prism. So area of a prism is any solid with a equal cross section. Suppose a cylinder is also this is this is commonly called a uh, cylinder. But in terms of cylinder, sorry, in terms of prism, you can say this is a circular base prism. So the circular, if you consider the circle on the top as the base, the top is circle. And if area of each cross section would be a circle, okay. So this is a this is a this seems to be a hexagon. So this is a hexagon based prism. So basically, any solid with equal cross section is called a prism. Now, what's the formula of a prism? Sorry, what's the volume of a prism? This is a simple formula: is area of the base which is the cross section, you can also call area of the cross section, area of the base times height. So in this case, this is the base or the cross section. This is the base or cross section and this triangle is the base here. And this is the cross section here. So let's do some example to find the volume of each of these shapes. Now before I move on, I want you to remember these two formulas or conversion. One centimeter cube is one centimeter times one centimeter times one centimeter. So this unit of volume is centimeter cube. Okay, whenever you have one centimeter cube, you have to imagine a cube, a cube of one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. And one centimeter cube is one milliliter. One milliliter is one centimeter cube and one meter cube, one meter cube is one meter by one meter by one meter. Imagine a tank, a cuboidal, not a cuboidal, a cubical tank, a cubical tank with one meter, your, your length, this is one meter and say so this is one meter and this is say also one meter. This is a cubical tank, suppose, a one meter by one meter by one meter. That is one meter cube, and that is 1,000 liters. So these are conversions that may be helpful use uh, later on. So one meter cube 
is 1000 liters and one centimeter cube is one milliliter okay let's do this question find the volume of this shape so here this is a base this is the base so your base area is 70 centimeters squared centimeter squared and this is your height so I'll write volume is base area times height so it's always good to write the unit so that you understand so this is 70 centimeters squared this is 70 centimeter squared times 6 centimeter so 70 times 6 is 420 centimeter cube okay so this is if you want to write this in milliliters this is 420 milliliter so if you have a shape of of this shape imagine a tank which the base area is 70 centimeters squared and your height of seven, six centimeters this will contain 420 milliliters of water or liquid so here the base is this is your base so let me yeah, we have to find the base area so let me write base let me use a different color so your base area base area is length times width so which is eight centimeter times six centimeter which is how much which is 48 centimeter squared so your volume would be base area which is 48 centimeter squared times your height so this is your height here this is your height which is five centimeters so 48 times 5 8 times 5 is 40 4 20 so it is 240 centimeter cube which is 240 milliliters okay here we have to find the area of this prism here the base is this triangle okay and this is the base so it's already shaded so I need don't need to shade it so this is your triangle base and this is your height okay so this is your height and your area of a triangle so base area base area is area of a triangle which is half which is 0 0.5 times base which is phi times 6 which is 0 so 5 times 6 is 0 0.5 times 30 times 30 so this is in centimeters so this is 15 centimeter squared so the volume is area of base area of base times height or base area times height which is 15 centimeter squared times height which is 11 centimeter 15 times 11 so let me use my calculator so 15 times 11 is 165 centimeter cube I'm writing centimeter cube is how many milliliters it's 165 milliliters okay let me do one more now this is a cylinder cylinder has a circular base okay so base area so let me write base area base area which is circle which is circle and you should know the area of a circle is pi times radius squared so this I'll keep it as pi times 7 squared which is pi times 49 so base area is 49 pi centimeter squared so your volume is base area which is 49 pi times your height so this is your height of 12 times 12 so let me use a calculator directly so menu run 49 times pi 
times 12, which is 1847. So let me write the whole number. So it's 1847 uh, centimeter cube. 1847 centimeter cube. So I should write in the bracket. I have rounded it to the whole number. So this is how many milliliters? It's 1,847 milliliters. If you want to change this into liters, so one liter, I hope you know, one liter is how many milliliters? Is 1,000 milliliters. So this is 1.847 liters. Okay, and okay, now this is a trapezium based trapezium. So this is a trapezium. The basis has the shape of a trapezium. So you know the base area. So the formula is the same. Volume is base area. Base area times height. Your height is 8 millimeters. So this is 49 millimeter squared times your height is 8 millimeter. So 49 times 8, 49 times 8 is 392, 392 millimeter cube. I'm not changing this into liters. Here again, this is, you can say, you can call this a L-shaped prism. You can call this an L-shaped prism because the shape, the base area, the base is L-shaped. So here, your volume is, this is base area is 6 meter cube, sorry, squared, times 4 meters, which is 16 times 4 is 64 meter cube. And if you want to change this into liters, we know 1 meter cube is... 1,000 liters, so which is 64,000 liters. So if you have a container like this, which has a base area of 16 meters squared and a height of 4 meters will contain 64,000 liters. So these are two examples. Look at this example. Try to find, so this is your base, which is triangular. So find the area of this triangle times it by height, okay? And this is again, the base area is, the base is circular. So here, your diameter is 14 centimeter. So how much would be a radius? Radius is 7 centimeter. So try to do these two questions yourself. And then you can make up your own questions. Try to change this area and try to work it out.